Recently I purchased this dump trailer. It cost me $6,000. It's a lot of money, I know, and I still haven't even paid sales tax to register this to get it road legal. It's still running on the Pennsylvania temporary tag. But I view the trailer as an investment. It's going to allow me to upkeep the, upkeep the property, bring in mulch, haul out brush, and ultimately and hopefully increase the value of my home. And not to mention, you know, these dump trailers really don't lose their value. But anyway, what I'm getting at is today I want to talk a little bit about securing your trailer and just how easy it is for a thief to take your trailer and register it as a homemade trailer. I know this because I've actually made a homemade trailer. Thankfully, I've never had a trailer stolen, but I made a homemade trailer. And let me talk to you about the process of registering a homemade trailer. A lot of people are intimidated by it, but it's really a simple process in New York State. All you need to do is show some type of documents or proof that you purchased the materials or uh, obtained them legally from somewhere. Uh, so with this trailer, you know, I, I showed all the receipts from the steel yard that I bought the steel from. I had a donated axle, so I just wrote that down. And all I had to do was weigh the trailer. I didn't even have to show them a picture and they just asked me how much do you want to, you know, register it weight wise. And then uh, that was pretty much that. I just had to get it inspected and the mechanics, you know, they didn't even check the VIN. So in theory, if somebody stole this trailer, came up with some fake documents saying, you know, that they bought the steel, which is very easy to make fake receipts. Um, they could go right to DMV and say, hey, I made a homemade dump trailer. I want to register it. Here's the documented proof. Don't even have to show a picture. You know, all they do is scrape off the VIN. And when DMV issues a new VIN, you know, they just weld that over where the old VIN is. Unfortunately, in theory, it's really not that difficult to register a stolen trailer as a homemade trailer with just a little bit of work. So there's a lot of products on the market to help you protect your trailer. I mean, there, there's a lot more things I could be doing, such as chaining the axles or putting a chain through the tires to prevent people from rolling away. Um, thankfully, I'm in a pretty good area and I'm not really too worried about that, but hey, you never know. What I really wanna focus on today is this product I bought from my trailer. So far, I'm really loving this hitch lock. This is called a blockhead hitch lock, and basically it's a machine piece of aluminum that basically sits on the flange of the receiver. And it's different because, you know, most commercial made ball hitch locks, you know, they have the ball that goes up in the hitch and then that steel band over the top. Somebody with an angle grinder or a set of bolt cutters will cut through that band in probably five seconds and then away goes your trailer. With this, although it's an aluminum, it's solid piece of aluminum so for them to really get through this they would really have to cut all the way down here they'd have to cut all the way down here uh, which you know of course in theory with an angle grinder they could take this off in a little bit of time but I just feel like my hitch is better protected with this hitch device so let me show you how it works just simply put the key in here turn it to the side and it slides off like so really quick to put on so basically how this works there's a little pin on the bottom this is a strange sounding geese huh almost sounds like an english siren but anyway how this works basically there's a pin in the bottom of this you push this pin up and then you push the lock forward which i'm not going to do and that locks this ball lock onto your hitch Put it on, push the bottom up, you got to hold it up, and then push the lock cylinder, and that's that. At the end of the day though, this is a theft deterrent device. It's kind of an honest man's theft deterrent because if somebody really wants to steal this, in all honesty, all they really have to do is unbolt this bolt, unbolt this bolt, put a new hitch on here, and they could drive away with this trailer probably five to ten minutes depending on what type of tools they carry with them. With that being said, I do think that this is probably the best ball hitch theft deterrent device on the market. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just like the design of it. I like how secure it is. I like how easy it is to take on and off. It's aluminum. It's going to last a long time. It's not going to corrode and rust away like steel would. Granted, I'm not sure how the lock cylinder is going to do, but if you just lube that from time to time, you'll have no problems there. And... I just have nothing but good things to say about it. One thing I will note upon this is a 2 and 5 16 inch receiver. I'm not 100% sure that this will work with smaller receivers. I saw some of the reviews online on Amazon saying that it didn't work with like a 2 inch receiver. So that's just something to be aware of. But 
that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. And if you are interested in purchasing this product, I will leave a link in the description below. The reason I leave links in the description below is if you so gracefully decide to purchase a product through one of my links, I make a very small commission. It's like two or 3%, I think. And with the small amount of money I make, I take that money and I reinvest in the channel. It allows me to buy newer, nicer camera equipment, new mounts. I'd really like to buy a new GoPro. And eventually I'd really like to design some apparel for the channel, but I think I'm gonna wait until I hit 10,000 subscribers. So please subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.